Here's a question. Which one of these three videos shows someone in freefall? Surprised? Well, if so, this will make more sense shortly. If you're not, stick around anyway because the implications might be more interesting than you think. By definition, freefall is anything undergoing acceleration solely owing to the forces of gravity. Let's start with the jumpers. Here we have four plots with the vertical axis showing the height and the horizontal axis showing velocity, acceleration, and air density. At the moment of liftoff, the acceleration is exactly 1g until the moment of impact. By definition, they are therefore in freefall. The skydivers also start with 1g at the moment of release, but as their velocity increases, drag forces cancel out the gravitational acceleration. So that amounts to about 4 to 6 seconds of freefall, depending on your altitude. So let's increase that altitude and say we jump from 125,000 feet. Then the total amount of freefall increases substantially, as there's much less atmosphere to contend with. That's about 20 seconds in the case of Felix's 2012 jump. Now that got me thinking. What would it be like to jump from the altitude of the space station? Well, you'd freefall for a good 5 minutes, but you'd pay for it when you hit the atmosphere at nearly 7,000 miles an hour and sustain 20 Gs. Let's jump from the same altitude but give ourselves a tangential kick. We'd still be free-falling as gravity is the only acting force, but we'd also still splat into the ground. But what if that initial kick is strong enough that the Earth curves away from us at the same rate that we fall towards it? Well, that's orbit, a perpetual free-fall. Back to our astronaut, he is in orbit and therefore he is in free-fall. More interestingly, this is also the reason he is weightless and not because he has escaped Earth's gravity. In fact, he is still very much a slave to Earth's gravity. If we view a plot of Earth's gravitational acceleration as a function of distance, we see that low Earth orbit is still very much within this deep well. Yes, the gravity is less on the space station, but only by about 8%. So lack of gravity cannot explain weightlessness in the space station. NASA actually leverages this fact to train its astronauts by flying freefall trajectories within the atmosphere while other people leverage this fact to make their passengers sick. So freefall implies weightlessness, but the converse is not true. This is the observation behind Einstein's famous thought experiment at the heart of general relativity. Given two identical spaceships without windows, there is no way to distinguish whether you are in freefall around a planet or in deep space far from any gravitational source. It's something to think about. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you hated it, you should consider checking out my other videos. Otherwise, stick around and enjoy some views from Low Earth Orbit.